Hello, yes, my criticism of Nick Griffin. I make this video because uh, two days ago, was it? I uploaded a video attacking, not criticizing, attacking Nick Griffin. And within minutes of it being uploaded, I received a deluge of emails uh, from regular spies that email me that think Daft Joe's fell for their spiel, but I just go along with it because it's very interesting. You learn an awful lot, right? Um, I received a deluge of emails from the usual suspects saying, that's right, Joe, we can do this without Griffin. We don't need Griffin. That's right. It's uh, awesome. Forget him. And he's a sellout and all the usual stuff, right? And then that told me it was a mistake uploading that video because they didn't criticise him. I attacked him and the, the two different things criticised and attacked him. So I wasn't going to play the enemy's game. So I, I took the video down. Whatever my criticisms are of Nick Griffin, whatever fallouts I've had or whatever, or harsh words, I'm not going to side with the enemy against him. It takes me back to 2009 when Nick Griffin was standing uh, in the European elections uh, here in the Northwest and he was being lured into a trap by MI5 spy, hope not hate spy, I don't know who he works for, Peter Malloy, another ex-soldier, last job for Queen and Country. Malloy had organised a rally in Liverpool city centre, which was then going to be met um, with uh, left-wing demonstrators, which was then in turn going to cause a riot in the city centre. But also, it fell on the same day, convenience, oh, coincidence, of course, coincidence, that's the word. It fell on the same day Everton were playing Stoke. So the police kindly said they couldn't police both events, so they'll move the Everton Stoke game to the Sunday. Right now, were that to happen, the Everton fans would never ever have forgiven Nick Griffin or the BMP, and his vote would have drastically dropped here in Liverpool and uh, on Merseyside. And this is where his vote was weak. This is where they had to. Um, this is where they had to deliver the body blow here on Merseyside. So. I could see what was happening and I told Nick Griffin, you're making a big mistake. And he foolishly probably listened to Peter Malloy. No one goes the, uh, no one goes to football matches these days. That's what he said to me. So, <laughs> so I text a friend who's a season ticket holder for about, he's been a season ticket holder for about 30, 40 years or whatever, supports uh, Everton, follows Everton everywhere. And he said, Joey, if he has that game moved from the, Saturday to the Sunday, he'll piss off 30,000 Everton uh, season ticket holders and they'll never forgive him. And a, a copy pasted the text, I sent it to him, and then he saw sense, right? And he pulled out of the planned rally and the Everton Stoke game was able to go ahead as planned on the Saturday. Now, even though I knew what was happening, I wasn't going to be spiteful and remain silent and watch Nick Griffin not be elected. Maybe Andrew Bronze would have been, I don't know, but Griff most certainly wouldn't have been. So I couldn't have sat back and remained silent. To do so would be aiding and abetting the enemy, right? And I couldn't do that. Looking back now, at the time, it was the right thing to do with hindsight. I don't know. But anyway, I, so I took the video down because I wasn't going to play the enemy's game for them. So... I won't be attacking Nick Griffin. I'll be criticising him. My criticism is this. You handed the BMP over to the enemy. You know you have. You can't say you haven't. You have. You handed the BMP membership list over to the enemy with people's personal details on. You know you did, right? People left wills to the BMP, legacies. They died and left their money to the BMP. You have a moral duty and responsibility now to pick up the flag again and start all over again. And let's start to blitz the party. But you're not. You're in the lunatic fringe orbit, pushing your nonsense, your reconquista, which you know is a load of baloney. We all do. And that's why the enemy keeps interviewing you. Right, or hobbyists or whoever they are, because they want to push all this nonsense. You see, if winning council seats, as an example, is pointless and doesn't work, then posting on Facebook is a complete waste of time, isn't it? Well, exactly. You see, we don't know where electoral wins are going to take us. We don't, 
right? We just do not know what's going to happen in this country. What I do know, what is happening, is it's coming apart without a doubt. All the social norms are going. Everything's going, right? There's no order no more. Everything is collapsing. We've got to be ready. You posting on Facebook, Nick, is a waste of bleeding time, right? You know, you wonder why I make these videos and get a bit irate and frustrated. You know, you wonder why, but I'm not going to do that no more. I'm going to be calm and collective. That's the way to do this, you know. Oh, by the way, I've extended now. My cold showers are done five minutes yesterday. Five minutes in the coldest shower you could imagine. Literally Baltic. The good. Try them, right? That's what calms me down, you know, literally. But anyway, uh, so I took the video down because I wasn't going to, uh, aid the enemy in attacking Nick Griffin like in 209 I knew what they were up to and that's why I warned them I could have remained silent but I, uh, it wasn't the right thing to do I had to inform him that he was getting lured into a trap uh, but anyway you know what he's pushing now is a load of nonsense let's have more interviews I can't read that Polish interview the one you've just done it seems to be more about Tommy Robinson than you but anyway oh and also you wrote an article, The Zionist Takeover of the White Nationalist Movement, and you outlined where there's various Zionists and leftists and whatever are trying to take over the White Nationalist Movement, and Tommy Robinson is pivotal in all this, yet, yet, you wished him good luck at court. All the best, Tommy, in court when you're next up. I mean, he's the enemy, Nick. Why have you done that? Well, it's got to be to cash in on his support, so, you know... This is another criticism where it's warranted. What are you playing at? Christ, he's the enemy. You know he is. Yes, you wished him, you know, good luck in, in court. Why? You know, I mean, I don't hate you, Nick Griffin. It's beyond hate all this. There's a bigger picture to hate. I don't like coming on attacking you. Trust me, I don't. Well, sometimes I do. You know, there's a bigger picture in all this. We've got to get our act together, otherwise we're going to lose our beloved Great Britain. I'm posting on Bleeding Facebook and having endless interviews isn't helping. We've got to start winning council seats again. Right? I know you don't like doing things unless you're getting paid. Well, for once in your life, bleed and do it. Okay, thank you.